You only need three ingredients for this meal. What you need first is some mashed potatoes, and it can even be the instant mashed potatoes. Whatever's easiest for you. Here I'm using about five servings of mashed potatoes, and I'm going to add this entire packet of spinach. What you need to do is place your mashed potatoes aside, lightly spray some oil on your pan, because what we're gonna do is saute our spinach. I'm placing all the spinach from that packet into the pan at about low to medium heat, depending on your stove. And we're just going to make sure that this entire bunch of spinach basically withers down to about a quarter of the size. Here we have started the process and you can kind of see it already shrinking. Make sure to mix your spinach around to make sure nothing gets burnt and nothing gets too much heat. This is what you want your spinach to look like. That way, once you place it in with the rest of the ingredients, it's not gonna take up too much volume. This is how the spinach should be looking as you're about to turn off the stove. That's exactly what we want. About a quarter of the size of the original that we put in, maybe even an eighth. Now we're gonna add our spinach to our mashed potatoes. And all that we have to do once placed is mix. Thoroughly mix your mashed potatoes with your spinach, and then we'll add in our cheese. I shredded my cheese at home. I used selected Colby Jack, but if you have shredded cheese, go ahead and add that. We did four ounces here, thoroughly mix again, and we are ready to place into our little muffin tin. Make sure to spray your muffin tin with some oil and add in your mixture. As you can tell, I'm seasoning with salt on top, but ideally you would remember to season while everything is in the bowl. You can always add cheese on top before you bake, and you're going to bake at 350 for about 25 minutes. And voila, you're done. These came out looking really cute. They're basically individual casseroles, so you could easily make this in just one big pan in the oven as well. Maybe bake for a little bit longer, but they came out amazing. If you're thinking about making this at home, I would suggest just making it in a big pan. You can change the proportions to add more mashed potatoes, less spinach, and more cheese. It's just dependent on what you like. I think if I were to make it again, I would make it in a pan, more cheese, same amount of spinach, and more potato. Because who doesn't love potatoes? Thank you so much for watching. I'm Nati here, and I hope to see you again shortly.